Welcome friends. In this video, we are going to discuss non-parametric methods for power spectrum estimation. We have three methods: Bartlett, Blackman, and Tukey and Welch. In different uh, eras, times, these methods make no assumption about how the data were generated. Hence, these are called as non-parametric methods. These are only the algorithms. These are only the steps. For the Bartlett method, is averaging periodogram methods. It explains everything. It is averaging periodogram. In this is three method, three step method, in which n point sequence x n is subdivided into k non overlapping segments where each segment has length n. Second, for each segment, compute for a periodogram by using this expression. We have already discussed periodogram in last video, and averaging the periodogram for all segments. This is the steps. Okay, now we have some data. We can put the in different segments by using this expression x i n equal to x n plus i m, where i varies from zero to k minus one and varies from zero to m minus one, where i is pointed to access any segment, where n is pointed to access any into the chosen segment data into the chosen segment. For example, we have twenty samples, then we can have that four segments and each segment has the five data. Okay, four, four segments. Now we want to access the third segment, so we will put i equal to two zero one two because third segment is two number. Okay, and m is equal to five obviously then x n plus ten. So we can access by x to n. X to n is what? X n plus ten. N plus ten is after ten samples the next n values are x to n. Okay, or if or more precisely, if we want to access x to five, x to four, then we have to go on x two in this case and zero one zero one two three four. This sample x to four is this one, x to three is this one. Similarly, this one is x one one, x one zero, x one one, x one two, is like this. So this is the segmentation of data into k segments having each element n. Now computing the periodogram for each segment, let ith segment obviously in general by generalized way and p axis f and for ith segment we have put i here and in the i segment we have m values so one upon m and this formula comes from the last expression as it is it is the Fourier transform of x n that is x n x i n in specific for that uh, ith case x i n and Transform square. Now, third step: averaging the periodogram for k segments. This is the averaging summation all the ith values and divide by number of segments one upon k. So this is the averaging. Then the averaging of all the segments, and this is the Bartlett power spectrum estimate P P P for Bartlett P X S F. And finding the Mean of this Bartlett spectrum, suppose mean is what average value, expectation E P X S B F statistical average, and we have already done the average. Actually, we have already done the average. So, in that average, we can go inside, and obviously, average of average is nothing the same. So that is why we have skipped this average and using the statistical average only. E is equal to now. Following this expression further, uh, from the periodogram method, uh, I suggest because for before going to the Bartlett uh, method, you should see the periodogram method video because it is based on that. So I uh, this expectation can be calculated by periodogram technique. Periodogram technique told told us that it is a Bartlett window and autocorrelation are convoluted with each other. That is what power density spectrum. And it is a result of periodogram actually from previous results. As Bartlett triangular window is also given in the previous video, and Fourier transform is also given. It is all the previous results. We have just nothing but the we have uh, accumulated the results in the Bartlett case. So it becomes the final results: gamma x x alpha and W B W B. 
f minus alpha, but w b f is this one, so f is replaced by f minus alpha everywhere, f is replaced by f minus alpha everywhere. So this is the mean of uh, Bartlett power spectrum estimates. Bartlett reduced the length of data from n points to m points because it is now segmented the data. So when we reduce the n points, then we obviously reduce the variance for the higher value of data. And it reduced the n points to m points by factor k segments. 20 samples are reduced by 5 becomes or reduced by 4 suppose in example becomes 5 only. So this new reduced window of length m has factor width which is increased by a factor of k and frequency resolution reduced by a factor k. So it improves the characteristics of our estimation n changes to m which is n by k here for example 20 changes to 5 which is 20 by 4 for 4 segments so variance of Bartlett estimate is also reduced by a factor of k so we finally reduce the variance also variance of Bartlett is given by here and it is 1 upon k here reduced by some factor k now what are the performance characteristics of Bartlett estimate by the same parameter q parameter which are used in periodogram also the square of mean upon variance and here we have that square of mean this is mean value and when m tends to infinite n tends to infinite k remains fixed obviously because k is the ratio of n upon n then this mean becomes gamma axis f and if this case variance becomes 1 upon k gamma axis lambda here k plays the role and putting the those two expression in these standard uh, result that is gamma x x f square mean square and variance cancel outing putting it finally that it is k k is n by m so now it is some specific factor which is depending upon the factor n and m now 3 db width of main lobe of rectangular window is given by you can uh, find it uh, but it is not so compulsory 3 db bandwidth of main lobe of window for rectangular window is given by this frequency separation parameter 0.9 by m where m is the length of samples so number of samples and uh, fft length and m is equal to point from this expression 0.9 by delta f we can put and finding the qb qb is n upon m putting the value of m here putting the value of m here 0.9 by delta f and it is final expression in terms of m so it is a mathematical expression that if frequency separation is given number of samples is given then we can find the quality factor for the Bartlett window okay so this is the Bartlett window case and in the next video we will discuss the Welch method and further uh, Bartlett and Cook K method